Hello everybody, welcome to Hobbyist Fishkeeper. I'm Will and today's video is going to be on some more killifish. We've got more killifish in the fish room. Uh, first of all, can I just apologise because I've been missing an action for about maybe two weeks or so. Um, but normal service has been resumed and uh, away we go with today's video. So it is on the clown killifish or rocket killifish as it's sometimes known or sometimes it's known as the uh, banded uh panchax the banded panchax so i purchased six of these the other day fortunately i have only got five left i did lose one uh but five out of six isn't bad i suppose so i will bring you over to this tank this tank was um cycling for around about well, probably six weeks to be honest um it has as an add an outburst of snails that was from a plant that i put in there unfortunately um I can't put my clown loaches in there to get rid of the snails because they'll probably just eat the um, the uh, killifish because they are so small. But I'm going to bring you over to it. I apologise in advance because it is very hard to film these little buggers. But I'll certainly try my best. So I'm going to bring you over. Okie dokie. So I don't know if you can see them there. Just flitting around at the top. But they are tiny. They are probably maybe just over a centimetre in length at the moment so the way that you can uh, tell the males from the females is the males tend to have the orange stripe on the tail they are much brighter and I do actually think I've got two males in there and three females at the moment so that's pretty good going and hopefully well you know what males and females leads to hopefully we get some babies so I do have some lovely moss down there that helps to feed them grow some of the bacteria on there and some of the microorganisms uh, but they also will uh, lay their eggs in there as well I've got a simple little sponge set up it's a double sponge filter with some um, extra media in the bottom um, I do suggest this kind of filtration for these little fish because if you have anything else they could get sucked up into the filter so if you have got a hang on back um, I would suggest putting some sponge over the intake but they are cracking little fish so they're from uh, Liberia I think and the Sierra Leone in West Africa that's where they originate from they will grow to a maximum of three centimeters three to three and a half centimeters water parameters they do like 20 to 26 and he's actually filming quite well this one quite surprised they are known as a micro predator because they do eat microorganisms i have been feeding them on some freshly hatched brine shrimp i've got the brine shrimp hatchery up and running again so they are very peaceful, but because obviously of the size, I wouldn't put them in your community tank because they'll probably get nipped at and eaten. Probably even by things like neons, they'd probably have a good go at them to be honest. But if you yeah, put them in with mollies, mollies would gobble them up. Big enough um, guppies, they'd probably have a go as well. But yeah, I would tend to keep these to themselves in their own little community tank. They are best in groups. I'm probably going to purchase some more of these. Uh, maybe another six and see where we go from there. As you can see if I pan out, I don't know whether you can see all the dots everywhere. That is the bloody snails and they get right on my nerves. I hate them. There's a female. So like I said, the males do get slightly bigger and slightly more colourful. That's how you differentiate them. Breeding them should be relatively easy. You don't need to pull the eggs out. They will just lay them in this moss. You can leave them in the incubations. I think it's nine to 12 days-ish. Yeah, nine to 12. And yeah, perfect for a nano tank. A five gallon tank. You could get a lovely little shoal of these. And it's such, such a lovely little fish. Look at its 
beautiful blue eye and it's rocket on its tail there. Stunning fish. Like I say, great for little micro nano tanks. This little micro predator. So we have more killifish in the fish room. That's it for today. Thanks very much for joining me. Back to uh, the usual uploads, hopefully two or three this weekend. Yeah, see you all again soon. Cheers.